How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today I've got the one of my best ever replays ever that I've had in World of Tanks console. This is in the FV4202. I've played probably under 10 games in it and this game was just insane. I've literally was so surprised by how much damage and assistance I'd actually managed to rack up within this game. Uh, it kind of felt like I wasn't really doing that much uh, for a large proportion of the game but obviously uh, that wasn't the case with the result that I did actually end up with. Uh, me and this Object 140 here uh, we did uh, have a really really good game uh, overall us two carrying the game 100% uh, towards the end and yeah you, uh, you'll see throughout this replay how, uh, how great we actually did. Uh, we weren't platooned or anything, this was just a random random person, um, but yeah, uh, shout out to that guy. So to begin with, I always like to come up here uh, when I spawn south on uh, Kunas uh, or Kaunas. Uh, not entirely sure how you pronounce that, but was not a great start. I got hit there for 580 uh, by the Object 705, I believe. So yeah, not, not a great start. They did low roll, so you know, that's not so bad. But taking that, especially over ridge line, probably wasn't aimed by him either. Was not particularly, uh, particularly fun. So this tank, it's um, it's actually a really good one uh, in in terms of uh, a medium tank. Anyway, it's got 6.98 rounds a minute with 390 alpha damage, and um, it's got 268 millimeters of penetration. But the good thing about this is. Uh, compared to the Action X, which is the other British tier 10 medium tank, is it actually gets Hesh rounds uh, with good penetration uh, as its premium round. So instead of having 390 uh, on its uh, premium round, it actually has 480 uh, with 210 millimeters of penetration. Uh, so that's that's not bad. Uh, the turret armor's fairly good with 200 on the front, 200 on the side, and 200 at the rear. Uh, 40 degrees a second uh, traverse speed uh, on the turret uh, as well as having um, a decent hull rotation speed as well uh, of 50 degrees a second so that's not that's not bad and the thing you want to be doing with this tank with all of the perks and everything is actually uh, aiming for those uh, tracking shots because of the reload and just trying to boost up your assistance in games uh, the accuracy of this gun being 0.32 so when you've got all of the boosts, like the minus uh, 10% or plus 10% accuracy, makes this tank uh, pretty much sure to hit wherever you're aiming. You'd be very, very unlucky nowadays uh, after update 6.0 to to miss any shots that you're you're firing. Uh, it can it can it's a bit mobile. It's got 50 kilometers an hour top speed forward uh, and 20 reverse. Does have a 20% fire chance though. So I wouldn't recommend taking, um, you know, your premium consumable like your food uh, or rations as it is now, enhanced rations, um, just because the chance of you getting set on fire is probably quite high, um, which isn't which isn't fun. Terrain resistances are okay in this. Uh, it's not going to be probably your fastest medium you've got, like a Progetto and stuff like that, uh, and the Bat Chat, but it is going to be able to shift. So in this game so far, we've we've managed to progress this flank, and we've pretty much won the whole left-hand side of the map, whereas the enemy team have actually won the right-hand side. And so what we're trying to do now is just get some side shots as they progress uh, down their flank uh, using this middle uh, area here. We're on 1,310 uh, hit points. We realise the bat chat's right next to us, which is not good. He manages to uh, kill our teammate, and he moves around here. He's a good player. He's got two marks in his bat chat, which uh, you know it's not the easiest tank to get them in. We uh, we aim properly there though, and shut him down really quick. Uh, we do lose a lot of hit points, just over a thousand uh, in that trade, but we definitely needed him out of the game as quickly as possible. So it's not looking good for us now. 320 hit points. Um, we're a one shot to well everything in the game, I think, at this point, uh, and. To be honest, you can't rely on the armor, although the armor on the FV4202 is better than the Action X, just because it's it's simply lower profile, and the uh, hull isn't as boxy and big as some of the other ones. 
Uh, the turret is fairly reliable uh, if you use it on a ridge line uh, using your um, 10 degrees of gun depression that you do get. And just uh, making sure that you you put out your, your damage on those ridge lines is, is what you need to be doing in this sort of tank. Now as for the gameplay, we have uh, we bounced that one on the E4 that's pushing up, which is really annoying because I need to put out as much damage as I can on the tanks that are advancing. And so doing that was, was really frustrating. And I wasn't on the biggest amount of damage at the moment. And, you know, when you're trying to push uh, to try and get your marks, uh, since I've only just started, uh, my marks on this I haven't got any, of. obviously. Um, since I've played less than 10 games, you'd be... Uh, well, I don't even know if it's possible to be able to get your first mark in 10 games in a tier 10 anyway. Um, but as you can see, we're just trying to use our armor, which you see quite a few bounces in this game. Um, as we aim for the lower plate of that WZ over there, uh, the TD. And that's what you've got to do, use your supreme accuracy to just snipe the weak spots of all of the tanks that are progressing type 4 heavy. Uh, you can see this little spot right here, I've used it quite a few times on Kunas. Um, or counters, um, and you can just keep putting out the damage using these spots right here and we've managed to get the back of him uh, and us in this 140 I believe that's over there are just ploughing rounds into the side and back and front of him uh, using the weak spots that we know of and just making sure that he's out of the game as quickly as possible so now I'm thinking the TDs that progress down the flank on my left are probably moving up now and since we're the furthest forward over here, we're probably going to detect them uh, more so than they are to us. We snap around into the WT Alpha Panzer IV there, uh, and then he gets uh, hit for 800 by one of our um, our players in the back. Now, this is terrible. This is a terrible situation. We put one round into him using our Hesh rounds, and the E100 comes around. Uh, but he does manage to, to miss or bounce us there, I'm not entirely sure. Unfortunately, we've still got the Hesh rounds loaded, which is annoying, puts pressure on us. Um, we're going to need one from the teammate here to survive, and our teammate helps us out right there to shut down the E100. Now, the 60TP there has just fired. Um, I don't know if you've seen that, but uh, I didn't in the game, and I wasn't entirely sure. And when you're on 320 hit points, you don't want to be poking tanks with high pen and big alpha because it's not going to go well for you. I try and track the Jaeguru here but uh, we don't manage to actually um, track him right there because if you can just halt the advance of some of the tanks I'm thinking I'm definitely done for here. Jaeguru comes round we do manage to hit the side of him and pen but we try and quickly get round his gun as fast as possible. The 60 TP is having a bit of a mare and we get the side of him. Now what we're doing here is what you should be doing in any of your medium tanks is get around the side and use the tank that you're shooting, especially if it's an unturreted one who isn't able to hit you and just put them in front of you and any other mobile tanks that are going to be able to get the side of you. We look behind us to uh, check if there's anything behind which unfortunately there is, there's a rock and this is this is really bad, really really bad. I've been pushed up against a rock, against the Aguru and the 60 TP is only focusing me, which means we are going to get shut down here, right there. We did get shut down by the 60 TP. However, we managed to put up a valiant, valiant fight here. Um, and as you can see, wedged up against the Yeagru and put in between a 60 TP, you could see exactly how the armor actually plays out on this tank, which is which is actually fairly decent. I was surprised you do get a lot more bounces than in the Action X because I think. The angle of your hull is, is uh, because it's squashed almost. Uh, it makes the angling on the on the upper hull really, really uh, strong. Uh, if you then further angle it, like um, as you come around a corner, what I tend to do is um, just poke really angled so that if they hit my upper hull, it's just going to ricochet. And there you go, a bit of showboating from the 140 as he finishes off the 60 TP from behind. Great game from us, absolutely fantastic. Managed to pick up a lot, a lot of damage right here. So yeah, you've seen just how good the FV4202 is. And there we go, 9,638 damage, 5 kills, 2,171 XP. Absolutely I was so amazed with the amount of damage I managed to get out. I was really hoping I could push that 10k mark. If I could just have got around the Aegru, I probably would have been able to push out that last 
uh, 400 uh, hit points of damage to be able to get to that 10k mark. Unfortunately, I wasn't. It wouldn't have been the only time I got to 10k, but um, it would have been the first time in a medium tank uh, that I've been able to do that. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case. Um, but as you can see here, um, using the log, unfortunately we had to use the replay system for this, which isn't the best. But we managed to get 4,948 assistance damage as well. Um, we managed to hit 33 tanks and block 2,000 damage just under. Uh, we spotted three tanks uh, and it was just a fantastic game. Mastery badge, of course, with that sort of damage and assistance. Nearly 15,000 combined assistance damage right there. High caliber, fire for effect, sniper, master gunner, bruiser, um, uh, and just pretty much any meadow under the sun except from the kills ones. Uh, fantastic game, yeah, 2,171 base XP in a tier 10 game is ridiculous, and um, I certainly won't be having one of them anytime soon, I don't expect, uh, brilliant game. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little overview of the FV4202 and the gameplay that I've had very recently, uh, I hope you guys found it really, really fun to watch like I have, uh, looking back over it is, is quite nice to see just how we managed to uh, use the situations that we got ourselves into, uh, use the armor and just try to make the opportunities where we could bounce shots uh, as much as possible. And of course, getting a result like that is is something you only get one in 10,000 games on World of Tanks. Uh, and that's even if you're uh, a fairly decent player like, like me, I'd say. Uh, I don't want to brag, but you know, 60% win rate. I've played this game for a long time uh, and that certainly isn't a result you get every day. Um, so yeah i'm absolutely chuffed with that really really enjoyed that and i hope you guys did as well anyway guys i hope you enjoyed uh, the video if you want to see any other content gameplay that sort of thing i will uh, put a link to some videos that you can watch from my channel and if you like those please subscribe uh, let me know how you thought the battle went uh, in the description uh, or the comment section below even and um, i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I hope you have a great new year. Thanks very much. Goodbye.